All right, folks, I'm back out here at the Anderson Homestead. You can see back here behind me. That's the first good barn video that I've done. If you ain't checked it out yet, I'll put a link in the description. It's real interesting. You need to watch it. It's a lot of fun. And what we're going to do today is this barn you can see right over here in the holler. That old log barn, that's going to be the next one we do. And we're going to do it right now. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of... Let's see, am I living in the future or living in the past? Anyway, I ain't where I'm supposed to be at because I've done one over and made the barn video. I knowed it was coming to rain. And I went over and done that. And as soon as I got back to the truck, it started raining. So Virginia said that was good timing, Pops. But anyway, the video I made is about that old log barn over there behind me. And there's a good... A good little video to show you how that thing's built and we'll look at a few of the details and whatnot it's fun it's get to see a baby moo cow and some two old mama cows and we had fun so i hope you enjoy it all right let's get to it now we're gonna we're gonna go back to the future i believe that's right It's a beautiful day, but there's a storm coming back here. But we're gonna try to get our barn looking done before it gets here. Man, I tell you what. No matter what's going on, you can get out in a pretty place. If you don't live in one, you can go find you one. Just get out and walk. Clear your mind. Allow you to think about good things and kind of forget forget the, some of the negative things. Man. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. Unlike these other barns that I've done, this barn I've admired all my life and I ain't never been over here to it. So we're going to share this experience together. I've never been over here to this barn, but I've admired it all my life. Just where it sits here and how it's built and everything. I just have always admired it. May be cows in it. I don't know. We may have to kind of work with them, but yeah, I see a tail hanging in there right now. I reckon this barn was a backer barn originally. That would be my guess. Is it's a backer? It was a backer barn built probably in the teens or twenties. And it's all log construction on it. Up to the gables. Hey, Cal. We're just going to take some pictures, girl. We ain't going to bother you. All right. Don't even interrupt you. A little old shady break there to fool with us. Got pretty butterfly on that thistle there. Ain't that pretty? Little old things like that. Boy, that just makes it. Well, hey, there's another one. You don't have to go out now. You ain't in the way. We can work around you. We can work around you if you want to stay in here in the shade. You want to stay in there? We work around you. <laughs> now you see, that's like a lot of the old buildings. Right there's the foundation. Weren't no mortar, weren't no concrete, weren't no nothing. Seal sitting on a rock, stack of rocks, rock pillar. That's how they built a lot of these buildings in the mountains. Uh, hey, 
They've been here a long time. It's interesting up here how this wall has flipped and flopped. You can see there that log. Look at that. And it looks like what's happened is be my guess that what's happened here you see that block of wood right there that block of wood was between them two logs when they was lined up even with one another and that block was holding the weight because see there's a lot of weight you see where these tears are notched in between these logs there's a lot of weight when you get this barn full of backer and all that weight has made these this bottom log here kick out it wasn't a big log it wasn't stout enough to handle all that weight bearing down and that block of wood caused it to kick sideways and kick out that's exactly what's happened right there so the pressure down, that block started sliding off the side and it pushed this bottom log out right there. If you pay attention, you can read things and they'll talk to you and tell you why they're like they are. Same thing right up here. Except that's a big log and it's kicked out over top of the smaller log right under it. And it's caused it to... You see how much... I don't know if you can tell, but the big log right there is way down lower than the smaller log underneath it in the middle. If you can tell that from the video. And the same thing, all that weight that that big log was carrying has slid over top of that one and slid down beside of it. Because it just, two, two round logs on top of one another. And especially if they warp some, if they warp, they ain't going to hold the weight. And this is interesting. It's different size of logs. They just like they use poles. They some big logs and then some smaller poles. See, right there, used together. I don't know why they done that. Most of the time, they put the bigger logs on the bottom part and the smaller ones up towards the top. But I guess it would overall be better... Oh, I know why they done it. Because they was going to have weight up there to carry. And then they put them bigger logs up there to help carry them tiers for the, to hang that biker on. That's exactly what it was. And you can see right here. How many sets of tiers they are. There's a set down low right there. Another set right there. Another set right there. Another set right there. But I wanted to show you what I was talking about with that block right there between them two logs and caused that to kick out. I was going to show you up here at the top. They done the same thing right there, see, to carry the weight of that roof. See that block? Right there's another one. Right over there's another one. He done that to carry that weight of the roof and keep that top, that very top log up there, that beam log, it carries the rafters. They kept it from sagging there. It looks like a mixture of logs. I see some oak logs, pine logs. What else I used? Oh boy, look what I found. Look you here, baby. Look at that baby right there. It's a lot more of a baby than what it looks like. It's hiding back here where it's cool. See if I, uh oh, uh oh. I ain't gonna bother you. Just sit there and rest now. You got you a cool place there to lay down in the shade. You just rest now. I'm just gonna look around here. And right here on this corner, you can see the difference in the sizes of the logs. See, you got big logs and little logs like poles. I 
hear that thunder coming. Yeah, he's going to lay there and rest. Don't feel threatened. Ooh, it's a, it's a thunder and got a back door here. A Persia weight bearing block right there between them two logs to carry the weight of the gable up there holding the peak up. Got some rot on this log right here above that door, some rotten spots. I'm trying to examine everything as we go so I can make sure I don't miss no details. This door here, old timey strap hinges on it. There used to be a little door on this barn on the other side. We'll look and see if it's still inside. I don't know what they had right there. Looks like a way to feed something out of there or feed inside of there. I don't know which. See if I figured old mama would be watching us over here, but she ain't, don't look like. Sitting on rocks. Oak logs and pine logs. Might even be some chestnut logs here. That right there looks like chestnut bark to me. I don't know. This wall done the same thing. Look how that's kicked there. Kicked out. Them tear poles, you'd have thought them tear poles would have held it, but they didn't. All that heavy weight... All that heavy weight pushed this log down in behind this log. It wasn't set on top. It rolled back and fell down. Oh, boy, look up at the top. Look how bad that one's kicked out. It's sticking out a foot past the wall. Look at that. Look at there. Uh-uh-uh. Got some sagging. I always say you can read a barn or a house pretty good by the ridge. If everything's good and stout, you can tell you can tell a whole lot by the ridge. And right there, you see how one of them poles is a pushing up on the ridge. That means that the overall structure is going down, and most likely it's where them logs have jumped out, rolled on one another there, and that's what's caused that to sag in the middle. But if you get up even with a ridge, you can tell a whole lot about how it sagged. See there? If you look across that ridge, you see that sag in there? Woo! Hear that thundy? <laughs> look at that old... Boy, that was a crooked log right there. Look at that thing. Now look, look how crookedy that thing is. Up and down, up and down, up and down. They hewed the sides and put it right in there. That old bark's pe peeled off and fell down there. I'm telling you to be a hundred years old, a hundred plus, I'm sure. That thing's held up pretty good bark still hanging on it i don't know if a piece of bark on a tree would hold up this day and time or not i doubt it a hundred years there's a big old nail they put in there look at that look at there put that right back in there where we got it there's a little rot right there the bugs you can see the bugs have eat on that they like that pine them bugs does and right here that log has this is that one, see right here? This log right here rolled on that one under it. See that? And look here what's happened. It rolled over, messed the notches up. See, when it rolled, it went like that. See there, it rolled over like that off of that log underneath it. And you can tell it by the notch 
And you can also tell that it broke that log and under it there when it rolled over, see? With the bugs eating on it, too. A vine here, that ain't good. Looks like somebody's cut it off, so. Or partly cut it off anyway. Maybe it'll die and get off of there. I tell you, see that corner there being rotten like that? And that vine growing on this very corner that's so rotten. But that is a corner that gets the main part of the weather, too. And then like, like she said down there at the other barn, where I said that about that end of the barn that was getting bad over there, them logs, it's also the ones where the bugs attack first. So maybe the bugs choose that nice sunny side of the barn. It's always the one that weathers the most. And it's always the one that's in the worst condition. Got pole rafters. No ridge, as common. Let's see if we can get in here without marring up to our knees and look around in here. It's awful wet in here. There used to be a little door right here that was made out of poles. And I was going to look in here and see if it's still in here anywhere, but I don't see it nowhere. I don't see it nowhere. Well, it's pretty soft. I don't know if I'm be able to get in here without marring up or not. See if I can ease around this corner right here. I made it and didn't mar up. Now we can examine a little bit here. There was a little gate on this barn, I remember for years, and it was made out of little poles. And I thought it was, it was always something how they built that little gate out of them poles, but it's gone. I don't see it in here nowhere. It's long gone. It might be stomped in the mud, or it may even be gone. Somebody hauled it off or throwed it out or something. But you can see in here, Letting them cows come in here, I don't guess it matters now, but it's causing, it's causing all this water to stand in here. And that's gonna be the detriment of the barn. But like I say, the bugs have eaten it up a lot. And it ain't gonna last a long, long time anyway, but it'll definitely last longer if they ain't having to fight the water. Let's look in here and see what we see. You can see how nice and these logs, see how these logs are in here? And they've had them tear poles are pretty low. I imagine this thing settled a lot too, but you can see how they notched them in there. Up here's the next run of tear poles. You know what I was saying about the ridge sagging? Well, look how these tear poles have sagged from one side to the other. See there? They're way low in the middle. I don't know how much walking around I can do in here. If I get marred up in that mud, I'll be here when they find me. And see what else we can see here. Wow, them rafters wasn't long enough to reach, so they scabbed them. They must have replaced rafters or just had a few two by fours because some of them are poles and then some of them's two by four scantling. You can see there how they scabbed that rafter so this two by four here wasn't long enough. It stopped right there and they put a scab on each side of it and nailed it real good and went on up to the ridge with it. Same thing over here you can see right there how they made them join together. And it looks like they've even put a little bit of a arch in it. I don't know if you can tell that, but it looks like they arched it up a little bit. I guess so when it sagged, it'd be, 
It wouldn't be just going down, it'd be getting closer to flat. It looks like a wooden manger down yonder. Behind that metal gate, see that? Looks like a wooden manger down through there. I can't tell what it is and I can't get over there to check it out because all this mud. But it looks like a wooden manger. I don't know why they'd have had that there. Or it might have just been to keep something from crawling under somebody or something from crawling under the wall. Too, it could have been for that. But see this water pond up, the cow pee here pond up. get in that stuff talk about nasty Woo. don't care mine to get a little pee on me I ain't, I ain't that particular but old pee that's been sitting in a puddle for a while that's a different story now that's a different story right here's a look at this gate back gate from the inside had their slide latch it went in here slid down Right into that mortise right there. See there? Had a nice gate on there. <laughs> Still out there napping. I was looking for details, but I don't see I don't see nothing else really that I can point out to you. <clears throat> Right yonder, outside, you know, is looking where that pole was pushing the ridge up. It's that pole right there. You can see where it's pushing the ridge up. So that pole right there was sitting on a good solid rock. And the barn settling down around it has caused it to push the ridge up and out. Sukil! 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 Woo! If I fall in this mud hole, you better not laugh at me. Made it, made it that far. Maybe I can make it on out. I want to know what that manger is over here behind this old gate. Is what I want to know. But I cannot get across there. No way. It's not the... It is not the... Oh, it, oh, it's an old pallet from somewhere. Somebody's brought an old pallet and put it there. That's what it is. Well, that's about it for this old barn. I don't see much else to examine. It's pretty simple, ain't it? It's pretty simple. I think something that is interesting, though, that I didn't point out 
Now, this is the old common sense ingenuity that people had, and today people's too smart. People's too smart for their own good, and they don't think about the simple, most very important things. All right, we know, we know by that gate right there being right on the ground that that's about ground level right there. Okay, so you come over here at the corner. Look at that dirt, how tall they left that dirt right there. Now look over yonder in that corner. Same thing, see, they cut it off about a 45 right there. And they left that corner, they left that corner dirt real high. Do you know why they done that? They done that because that's where them corner, that's where them corner rock pillars sit. And they know if they didn't leave that, that they wouldn't be a good foundation for that thing to sit on. It'd get weak. And also, by leaving it high like that, it kept, it kept water away from the corner of the seals. Because water is going to run to the lowest place, not the highest. And the way this is situated here, I don't see no way that water didn't run right down through the barn. Because it come, it's in a holler here. You see how they dug out and sloped that down right there and right there? It's almost like they planned for the water to come through here. And I reckon they did. Now, there is a ditch around behind, if you remember, where that little cave was at back there. There's a ditch that went around on this side. I guess they had it run out to the back, and that got most of the water. But this day and time, you don't see nobody leaving no corner like that for, to hold the corner pillar up. Not that they build on rocks, most people no more, but you don't ever see that. But it's been here over a hundred years, so I don't need to say much more about it, do I? But that just goes to show you how smart people was. Keep the water away from your foundation, it's going to hold up a lot better. And it don't matter that it's sitting on rocks. If it's wet around there, that thing will start them rocks so over time wind blowing shaking the building getting rains it'll keep sinking into the ground but they set them rocks out on good solid earth and that's what held it up is keeping it dry like that keeping it dry Well, I was hoping that little gate would be here. I always wanted to look at that close up, how they made it. But it's long gone. Sakil. Sakil. Sakivy. Sakivy. How you like them butterflies? Uh. You like them butterflies? Boy, they're setting you up with a pretty picture. Them butterflies. Yeah, they are. You better get back over here and get in the barn. It's going to be raining in a few minutes. And I got to get myself back to the truck. I don't like thistles, but when one's got a butterfly sitting on it, it makes you feel just a little different about them. And always, they set their rocks. They always set their rocks so that the water would drain off of them and not be able to stand there and rot the seal. And that's an oak seal. That ain't even a locust seal. That's oak. It's oak or chestnut one. It might be chestnut seal. It might be a chestnut seal. All right, we'll go. You just come on back to the barn. We'll get out of your way. Hopefully there won't be no lightning striking before we get back to the truck.
pretty barned over here in the holler, but like everything else, it's on its way out. You see the bug damage and the rot? It'll be gone one of these days. Mm-mm-mm. Folks, I made it to the house and I didn't melt, so that's a good thing. I hope you enjoyed this little barn video. We got plenty more of them coming up. I'm so excited and I look forward to it. Some of them I've been to and some of them I never have. So like today, I never had been over to that old barn. I always wanted to, just never had. And it was time. And I want to thank the owners for their kindness and letting us go over and look around. Miss Evelyn and Miss Lisa. I guess y'all hope y'all don't mind I mention your names, but just want to say I really appreciate you. And I wanted to tell y'all something else. The Kentucky video I put out the other day, I found out, you know, some things that I put out, specific things I don't want to monetize. And, you know, some things I just don't feel right about monetizing it because that's not I just don't feel right about it but what I've come to find out is this so that Kentucky relief video I want as many people to see that as I could well if you don't monetize something YouTube they won't they won't help you they won't push it so it starts off sluggish and it don't get hardly near the views. So I've learned that and it's a it's a sad thing, but that's just the way it is. I mean, I guess from a their standpoint of making all the money they can, it look it's that's the way to do it. But that's why I monetize videos. If you think, well, you know, he shouldn't uh they shouldn't be no commercials on that video. It's not what it's about. You're right, it's not. But if I don't do that There'll be far less people see that video than if I do. So that's just what we have to work with. I just wanted to let y'all know that. It is pouring the rain here right now. And this is about the... I don't know how many hard rains we've had in the last two or three weeks. And they just keep coming. I've never seen as many hard rains as what we're having right here in my life. I mean, it's an absolute downpour. But anyway, times like this, when the ground is already saturated, soak up as much as it can, and you get these big hard rains, that just raises the risk of floods, trees uprooting and falling, just all kinds of things. So that's... That's what I worry about getting so many hard rains as we have in the last little while. We've had a bunch of them. Anyway, I hope you have had a good Sunday. I hate I didn't get this video out this morning for coffee, but that spur of the moment drive to Kentucky yesterday, it kind of changed my plans yesterday, but that's what I felt in my heart to do, and we done it, so... Hit like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to me if you ain't already. Hit that notifications bell so you can get these videos right when they come hot off of the camera, hot off of YouTube before they get cold or get old. I, like I said, I hope y'all have a great day. Good evening. This is Justro at Metcalf Mills. I look forward to seeing you next time.